I know this. I know. Just relax. I'll take care of it. Riley. I just got a call from the Board of Health. They got a complaint on you. You want to tell me about this? Oh. Well, I assure you I'm the very soul of cleanliness. My intimate habits are above reproach. Look. Look at my fingernails. Don't, don't give me any. I don't want to hear any of your bullshit, all right? Look, you've only been with me just a short time. All right, I got guys here that have been with me for years, and they've never gotten in trouble with the safety. No doubt they're more foxy than I. They got a guy following you, checking up on you. Okay. So that's who that appendage of officialdom was. Look, just shut up for a moment. Did you pay for that wiener? Well, indirectly, you may subtract it from my miserable wage. And, and I will, too. Tell me... What a sanitary taboo have I violated? I suspected some falsification on the part of the inspector. The Board of Health saw a vendor with the number seven on it. That's you. So it is. Christ blessed seven. I ironically assumed that number seven would be an unlucky cart. I want a new cart as soon as possible. Apparently, I'm pushing a jinx about the streets. I'm certain I can do better with some other wagon. A new cart, a new start. Uh, did you want to just listen to me? What was you doing on St. Joseph Street? There's nobody there, all right? It's just full of wharves and, and warehouses. It's not even on our route. Well, well, I didn't know that. I'd only feebly shambled out there to rest for a while. Occasionally, a pedestrian happened along. Unfortunately for us, they... Did not seem to be in hot dog moods. No wonder you're not selling anything. Probably playing with that goddamn cat. Well, now that you mention it, I do seem to remember a domesticated animal or two about in the vicinity. You was playing with the cat? No, I did not play with it. Good. I'd only picked it up to fondle it a bit. It was a rather appealing calico. I offered it a hot dog. However, the cat refused to eat it. Apparently, it was an animal of some taste and decency. Do you realize? Do you realize what a serious violation this is to you? No, oh, I'm afraid I don't. It's, no, we don't. It's apparently been taken for granted that, that this cat was unclean. But how do we know that? Cats are notoriously sanitary, continuously licking at them if they suspect the slightest chance for offense. This inspector has some prejudice against cats. This cat hasn't been given a chance. We're not talking about the cat. We're talking about you, okay? Well, I certainly am clean. Well, we've already discussed this. I just wanted to make sure that the cat got a fair hearing. Sir, am I to be endlessly harassed? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put you on the French Quarter. That's what I'm going to do. What? Yeah. Do, do you think I'm going to perambulate about that sinkhole of vice? My psyche would crumble in that atmosphere. The streets are rather narrow and dangerous. I could easily be struck down in traffic or, or wedged against a building. Listen to me, all right? This is your last chance. It is? Yes. Well, if, if you insist, I imagine I'll trundle my franks down to that Sodom and Gomorrah. Good. It's settled then. 10 a.m. you here, I'll give you a brand new card. <sighs> I don't think there'll be many francs sold down in the quarter. I presume I'll be defending my honor every moment against the fiends that live down there. Only tourists are in the quarter, all right? Don't exaggerate. Oh, that's even worse. Only degenerates go touring. Personally, I've only been out of this city once. By the way, have I ever told you about that particular pilgrimage to Baton Rouge? No, no. Now just give me your seat so I can go home. Oh my god. I knew we'd get to this sooner or later. Alright. Let's see. Alright. How's 
this? That was quality assurance. Check. Right. Let's see your receipts. Plus your pay, minus what you've eaten. I'm sure it's only a couple. Comes out to a dollar. Give me this. What? Come here. Give me your mutt. It seems to me that you'd be generous enough to offer some sort of, well, I don't know, discount for your own employees. After all, I'm becoming one of your best customers. Get out. Get out. I'm done with you. Get out of my garage. Get out, get out. I don't want you here anymore, what? all right? And if you're not here by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, I'm going to fire your ass, all right? And I'm going to need a huge fire, okay? Get your ass out of here. Go on, go on, get out of here. Well, I never...